More than two billion people, one third of the world's population, are infected with the non-active latent form of tuberculosis. TB has now mutated into new and deadlier strains. MDR-TB, multiple drug-resistant tuberculosis, is caused by inadequate care or misdiagnosis. XDR-TB, extensively drug-resistant tuberculosis, is a further mutation for which there is no reliable cure. In 2006, in a small rural community in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa, an outbreak of XDR-TB alerted the world to the potential magnitude of the problem. Fifty-three people became infected, including six health workers. Fifty-two of them died. India has the world's largest number of people infected with TB. The first cases of MDR-TB were detected in India, and some of the most widely used methods of treatment were developed there. I saw so much in people's eyes. Pain, fear, dislocation, and hope. National and regional TB programs are extensive, reaching deep into the fathomless slums, often with the help of local NGOs. I wanted a mass audience to look into the eyes of people who were in desperate need of assistance. Partners in Health, an American NGO working with the national program of Lesotho, has established a medical center in the capital city of Maseru. Medication, air quality and ventilation, diagnostics, the training of local staff have been specially designed to optimize treatment of MDR and XDR-TB. In the prison colony in Tomsk, Siberia, Partners in Health has redesigned the treatment of TB patients, including those with MDR and XDR-TB. A high percentage of TB patients in the public hospitals in Tomsk are homeless or addicted to alcohol. Father Michael Bassano, a married old priest, spent four years as a volunteer in an AIDS hospice in a Buddhist temple in Thailand. Some patients had been diagnosed with TB, but for many, the symptoms were endured without being quantified. Father Mike bathed and fed and changed the diapers of everyone who could not take care of themselves. For many, he was their last human contact. TB thrives on the conditions of poverty, overcrowding, poor nutrition, limited access to health care. If left untreated, a person actively infected with TB will infect 10 to 15 people each year. In 2006, 1.7 million people died from TB, equal to 4,500 deaths a day. An estimated 490,000 new MDR-TB cases and 40,000 new XDR-TB cases occur annually. Tuberculosis is preventable treatable and curable. Money spent and efforts made can actually pay off. 
With adequate funding, accelerated research and development, improved infrastructure, training and organization, and above all, political will, sustainable, economically viable programs can be established to reverse the spread of TB. Medications and diagnostics are often antiquated and not geared for the developing world, but advances are being made. Millions of lives can be saved and millions more rescued from intense suffering. The alternative to effective action is a frightening picture. MDR-TB requires a much more punishing treatment. Oral medication is bitter, difficult to swallow. It produces harsh side effects. Daily injections are dreadful, creating fear and pain and panic. MDR-TB patients can remain hospitalized for months. The cure is so physically and psychologically traumatic that it's difficult for patients to actually see it through. Many flee, leaving not only themselves vulnerable, but also anyone they come into contact with. In a bus, on an airplane, in the workplace, at home. Swaziland has the world's highest per capita incidence of TB, the highest incidence of AIDS, and the highest incidence of co-infection. Most patients are cared for in crowded public hospital wards. TB and AIDS are strongly connected. TB is the leading cause of death for those infected with HIV. With the emergence of MDR and XDR TB, the stakes have been raised. If TB is not contained, especially within populations with a high incidence of HIV, the consequences could be catastrophic. In Cambodia, the legacy of war and genocide is so profound that other issues become overshadowed. Cambodia ranks among the world's poorest countries and has one of the highest rates of tuberculosis. Because public health care is so inadequate, international NGOs fill in many of the gaps. Subsistence rice farmers living in remote villages with unreliable transportation cannot maintain the requirements of proper TB care from a centralized location. Organizations such as the Cambodian Health Committee have organized daily treatment through a combination of outreach and local monitors. I've seen the best that lies within the human spirit become manifest in the most terrible circumstances. In a small TB ward, in a government hospital, in a remote part of Cambodia, epic suffering was being endured. But also in that humble place existed love on an epic scale. It's the greatest force and the greatest mystery in human experience. And as much as anything else, it was keeping this boy alive. Not one of the people I saw had given up hope. Those are the people who need our attention, who are silently crying out for help. <laughs>